Ahoy there, me hearties! This is a video all about a great hero of the British Navy, Lord Nelson. He was a brave and daring sailor who fought to protect the British Isles. Lord Nelson was born in Norfolk in England on the 29th of September, 1758. He was the sixth of 11 children and he loved fishing and sailing. In fact, he loved sailing so much he became a sailor when he was only 12 years old. Now Nelson wasn't exactly what you'd normally think of as a naval hero. In fact, he suffered from terrible seasickness all his life. That would not have made life on the waves terribly pleasant. Nelson was also a small man, just 5 foot 4 inches tall. Anyway, he worked hard to become an officer in the British Navy. He fought in many wars and quickly became famous for his daring and bravery. He was known for always putting his sailors first and never giving up no matter how hard the fight. In fact, he fought so hard he lost an eye and an arm in battle. There are many stories that show just how heroic Lord Nelson was. He once saved a sailor who had fallen overboard during a storm. Lord Nelson jumped into the water and pulled him to safety. Another time he saw a group of French soldiers attacking British soldiers. Lord Nelson was outnumbered but he didn't hesitate. He charged towards them, swinging his sword. Lord Nelson's most famous battle was the Battle of Trafalgar in 1805. This was a huge fight between the British Navy and the French and Spanish navies. Lord Nelson knew that this was going to be tough, but he was determined to win. In those days, battleships had cannons aimed at the sides of the ship. This meant that enemies would line up and sail past each other in order to fire at each other. However, Nelson knew that he had a better trained crew and faster cannons. Instead of lining up his ships in a straight line like everyone else, he arranged them in two separate lines and sent them straight into the middle of the enemy. His ships crashed straight through the enemy line, throwing everyone into confusion, cutting off a lot of their ships and destroying them. The British ships did take a lot of cannon fire and they were badly damaged. However, the enemy was totally outgunned. Most of the French and Spanish were captured and not a single one of Lord Nelson's ships was lost. The battle though was to be Lord Nelson's last. As the battle raged on, he was hit by a bullet and fell to the deck. Sadly, he died later that day at the very moment of victory. But so great was the victory and so dominant did it leave the Royal Navy that he left behind a country that did not depend on a single leader to retain its command of the oceans. He will always be remembered by the British as a great leader.